Today is a Tuesday, May the 22nd. So with the dream I had this morning, um, I think it's pretty clear. The Lord, um, he's basically directing me. You know, I can't be silent about this any further. And I, he clearly wants me to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and speak. Um, so witchcraft person from Germany, um, Lori Lay, Kinstusikernicht, Nurso, uh, Das Letz, um, Gott mit uns. You're anti-Semitic, uh, you're, you're pro-Nazi, and you're into witchcraft. And um, I'm very well, I'm fully aware that you are targeting both me and her. Um, the Lord has had revealed some stuff, and I know that you are aware of that also because you're in contact with demonic spirits. You're into witchcraft. And um, you're, you're into witchcraft. And so I, um, you know, the Lord clearly wants me to speak with the dream I had this morning. I really, you know, I got to speak now. And um, so, yeah, I'm, you've been, you've been stalking my channel for approximately 11 months. Um, around New Year's, right, right before New Year's, um, at that transition point, um, from 2017 to 2018, literally like right there, New Year's Eve. That's that time period. You were directed by the devil to uh, contact me, to reach out to me, and I I, quick, I quickly realized you were of the enemy, and it was it was revealed to me that you know I, I became fully aware that you you had been targeting me with witchcraft. So you know I had found out you had essentially been following my channel for the last five months of 2017 and then you were directed by the devil to reach out to me you even said in in a comment that the so-called lord quote unquote which is your lord is a devil had uh told you to contact me you even admitted it in your comment and um and you have proceeded these past five and a half months or so to st still stalk my channel and follow my channel and you even tried to reach out to a sister in christ also regarding me and so I'm fully aware of what you are aware of and I know you're targeting me both you're targeting both me and her and um <clears throat> and your time is pretty much up so I mean enjoy your stay here during the great tribulation you um you know once it starts you'll you'll probably have a pretty short lifespan and once you die you'll be cast into hell um, you do have the choice to repent and accept Jesus Christ, but from what I've been showing, I, I believe you're you're probably damned, and from even a dream brother Mark had. So I, I believe you're pretty much your fate has probably been sealed, but you always have that option to accept Jesus Christ and repent of your sins and stop performing witchcraft and targeting people. Um, but I know you're aware of what I'm aware of. The Lord had revealed it to me, um, and. You know, I know you're targeting both me and her. So let me go into the dream. You know, Lord's making it very clear I can't be silent anymore about this. <clears throat> and um, so in the dream, pretty much I was on the sidewalk. I guess I had gone for a walk or a run, which, you know, I like to run. I'll go for walks sometimes. I like to run and so forth. And so I was in my neighborhood where I live and I was walking I was walking, um, I think at the first portion of the dream, I was walking on the sidewalk. I was, so I was walking home and I wasn't far from home at all, actually. Very, very, pr pretty close. <clears throat> and, um, as I was walking home, I, um, I noticed there were two dogs, two pretty good sized dogs. It was specifically, it was two dogs that were outside of, um, a house in our neighborhood and I know the specific address because I looked it up because I, I know the specific house it's on it's a corner house at the end of the alley so it's, it's it's at the end of the alley it's pretty close to where I live really close in fact and um the thing is um I know as I was walking in this dream home I noticed two dogs outside the fence line of this house so they were outside the fence and they were barking they were extremely you know they were barking making a ruckus they were they were clearly trying to get 
at something that was behind the fence. So something was in the backyard of this house. <clears throat> These two dogs were barking up a storm at whatever was behind the fence, you know, in this, this backyard of this house, they were trying to get at whatever was behind the fence. And so I got a little, you know, concerned because the dogs were very, very, you know, aggressive trying to pursue and get whatever this was, um, whatever it was behind the fence. And in the dream I was, you know, I, I didn't know at first what it was. And, um, I was just watching this play out these two dogs and then eventually at a certain point, I believe it was a, a cat. I'm pretty sure it was a cat. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a cat flew over the top of the fence. I guess it had climbed or jumped over the fence and it, it started darting like across the street and the, the two dogs took off in pursuit of this cat. So the two dogs took on, you know, off in full pursuit to chase this cat. So it had been a cat, a cat. I'm pretty sure it was a cat that was in the backyard. And so after this happened and the two dogs ran off chasing the cat, I proceeded to go down the alleyway um, to continue on my way back home. And I believe I may have started jogging or running at this point because the situation did have me, I mean, the dogs, I, they did have me a little concerned. <clears throat> and so I continued on my way home. And as I approached, you know, where I live, the house I live at, as I approached that, you know, our house, I started to fly. So I pretty much lifted up in, in the air. I found myself essentially flying in the air over, pretty much over our driveway and, um, you know, the alley. So as, as I got closed in, I got close to, you know, where I live, I started flying. I took off in the air and I remember looking down towards the ground. And so that's where the dream ended. And... I knew right away what this had to deal with. I, you know, I hadn't even looked up the strong concordance of the, the house, um, the four digits of, you know, the house number yet. I've had this, you know, the Lord has used houses nearby in my neighborhood um, before in a, specifically a couple of past streams where I knew I needed to look up the strong concordance of the four digits of the house address. And, um, it was in the dream, I knew the exact location of the house. So when I looked up those concordances, it literally, it had to deal with the dream. So I knew this was similar. I had to look up the strongest concordance of the house. So let me just go ahead and go through the dream. So me walking home, that just represents, we're on our way home, guys. We're about out of here. We're on our way home. We're close. We're very close to going home. I noticed the two dogs. Um the two dogs were trying to get at what was behind in the backyard of this house. 4601, that's the four digits of the house address, the number 4601. So the two dogs were, were barking and going crazy, trying to get whatever was behind the fence, whatever was hidden, hidden behind the fence out of sight. So at first I didn't even know what was behind the fence. One of those dogs is me. And I mean, the other dog, that's pretty clear. I, I believe, you know, I know who the other dog is, but, um, you know, one of those dogs represents me. And, um, yeah, I know what you've been up to. Person from Germany, you're into witchcraft. You're anti-Semitic and you're pro-Nazi. And so the dogs clearly were trying to get at what was hiding behind the fence. So you, you, you person from Germany, you, you're the cat. So the cat represents you. You're the one who's been, you know, targeting people with witchcraft and specifically me and her. I know what you've been up to. And so you're the cat, you're hiding. You like to stay out of sight. And so the, the four digits, 4601, I knew to look up the strongs immediately. Um, and so it means to keep silent, to keep secret. I am silent, keep silence. I keep secret, I am kept secret. Became silent, keep silent, kept secret, keep, kept silent, quiet, silent, stop speaking. So the Lord was clearly letting me know that he doesn't want me to stop speak. You know, he wants me to speak out about this. As I literally just recently had been thinking about, you know, pretty much just closing my mouth off. But, um... 
yeah, he wants me to speak about this. So I'm getting this out here now. He clearly wants me to speak about this. And, um, and you, you, your person in Germany, I know you want to be kept secret. So, and okay. So at that point, the cat flew over the fence, the two dogs chased in pursuit. They were fully, you know, in full pursuit of this, this cat. I'm pretty sure it was a cat. So that's you. You're the cat witchcraft, you know, witchcraft person. And at that point, I proceeded to head on home. I think I started to run or jog, I think, down the alley. So at this point, I was now in the alley running, you know, heading home. And that, I believe that just represents the last final stretch. We're in the last final stretch. And as I closed in and I got close to... um you know, as I got close to, to going home, I, um, that's when I started, you know, right when I got near where I lived, that, that, that's right. That's when I started flying. I took off. I, I was in the air over our pretty much driveway. And I remember looking down that, that just represents the rapture guys. And we're, we're about out of here. I, I don't know what else to say. And, um, So clearly the Lord wanted me to get that out there. And so, yes, sister, I mean, I have been basically, you know, holding back stuff. And, I, you know, I'm only going to say a certain amount because if I say any further, it would probably just freak you out. And, um, you know, I pretty much let the Lord know it, it's up to him to reveal, you know, reveal it to you. And he actually has been, but... You know, it's ultimately up to him because, yeah, if I say any, you know, I don't want to freak you out. I'll just, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. So, guys, just keep watch. Be prepared to go home. I I mean, we have very, very little time left. If I said otherwise, that would make me a liar because I, I'm extremely confident that we have arrived and we're, we're getting ready to go home. And I, I believe we're about to see see stuff happen something's getting ready to happen and um you know just keep following the lord day in day out you know the lord jesus christ father god and be prepared to go home at any moment and be prepared to see anything go you know anything go down at any moment because we're, i believe we're on the precipice of everything unraveling and then, you know, the rapture. And I just believe we have arrived, guys. And just be ready, you know, be ready to go home. I, I believe I'm basically, you know, my job here is done, I believe. And, you know, I believe we have arrived. You know, I truly believe we have arrived. I don't know what else to say. I'll catch y'all later. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.